Hello there, YouTube people. How are you today? I bet you are beautiful, fantastic as always. So, after my last video about open tunes, if you don't know what it is, go watch my last video. I talk about it, what it is, what I think about it, and blah blah blah. Now, I'm trying to do this kind of tutorial, video tutorial about how to begin. I know there are already few videos about it, and I didn't really watch all of them because I. Just like I said in the last video, I'm messing with it. I click on buttons and I sketching it around, and that's how I found some really cool stuff. And I'm going to to start with something simple and basic for those who have no idea how to even begin with Open Tunes. And maybe later I make I'll make another video to show some cool stuff for the professional look, like you see in anime and stuff like that that I didn't see on YouTube yet. So I think it's time to make one, because that's what I do on daily basis in other software, and now it's time to do it with this amazing software. Still have lots of bugs and crashes and whatever, but don't worry, they'll fix it. People will fix it. The community is going to be huge. I have a big faith on this software. It's going to be definitely the best to the standard. So the other big software out there for 2D animation, you should be afraid. You you should be because this is the king. Yes, the new king. Okay, after I blah blah blah, let's begin. So you probably see all these weird windows when you first open. I I'm not sure if this is exactly what you see because I already installed and messed with it. So I think this is the the basic windows you see when you. Open open tunes for the first time. So, how do we how do we start? How do we even begin? Let's say I want to draw something. Where where is the brush? Where where are the, the tools? Okay. So, if you right click with the mouse anywhere on the canvas, on the stage or whatever you want to call it, you see this little menu, and you see this magic tree. That's how I call them. Toolbar, tool option bar, options bar, and console. Let me explain. Toolbar. Click. Check this out. All the tools you need. Now you will have probably a better resolution than this one, and you'll see more tools here. But I'm in limited resolution right now because I'm using my old Wacom Cintiq. So whatever. You you'll have better stuff than me. That's cool. Now let's click again. And GUI show hide. You see. Let's check. And um, tool options now. What what is this options bar? Whenever I choose a tool, let's say the brush or the selection or whatever they call it, you see the options of the tool are here. It will change related to what tool you chose. Select. Okay, nice. Next. Now this one is important because it's for the the animated relate animation related. You click on the console. And you see all these new buttons here. This is the FPS frame per second. 24 is nice. I used to it. I like it. Um, it's up to whatever you do. Uh, all the buttons, you know, play, pause, mm, previous frame. I think this is the first frame, last frame, next, whatever. And I have more tools here. Okay, because I have I have no space, so I have this little button here. Okay, so far, so this is what you need to begin. If you click the brush, you can already start a sketch and draw and do whatever you like. Control Z, it's undo. And I think that Control Y is redo, but I don't have nothing to redo, so. Shortcuts are very useful. You can go to customize and go to configure shortcuts, and you have all the shortcuts you need. I, I already set some what I need. Um, doesn't matter, you can do it, it will save you time. Okay, let's proceed. Now, you see this cleanup settings, you can already, you can find it here I think, yes, cleanup settings, if I open it, you see the same window here. So why I'm showing you this, because I don't like it here, I just click on it and drag out, and then I say goodbye, I don't need you anymore, and I have more space. That's nice. If I need it, I'm going here and I can already, I can just drag it and I think that, you see that's yellow 
line I let me okay and it's back and I can do that it's like docking any window you want anywhere almost anywhere it's up to the window some windows cannot be docked and yes so for now I don't like it I don't need it and I have the zoom in zoom out shortcut to one to zoom out two zoom in that's how I used to it's nice if I hold the space bar I can pan in around the table and okay so how do we start to draw frames because let's say we want to do a frame by frame animation okay so usually you see in flash and other software like video editing software even you see from left to right a timeline from left to right which you see all the frames from one or zero to whatever you want to proceed so in traditional animation they call it the X sheet it's a little bit different and if I go to the exit it's the same like this window but in full screen I go to the exit rooms by the way this called the rooms each room is for a different task because remember this specific this specific version of open tunes it came from G studio Ghibli which they have different divisions like we do on our studio but it's a little bit different because they didn't do um, almost digital paperless they did they scan they draw real drawing real papers and they scan it and then they scan it to tunes which is now open tunes and they did the work here so this is why you have all these different rooms for different tasks different divisions like I said anyways exit this is your timeline this is how you manage all the new frames you see this is a columns and you have column one this is these are the frames frame one two three four and so on now let's back to the cleanup stage room and if I'll by default you here on the first frame and if I start to sketch let me I click B for brush if you don't have this shortcut you can change it that's what I do B for brush makes sense and as I draw something you can see it here like a preview and you see a name of the frame and the number I will not get into it because it's a bit more complicated than just a name and a number it's related to swapping and stuff like that let's not talk about it right now because I want to stay on the very basics okay and if I click the, the down arrow you can see it goes from 1 to 2 and I can draw another one another frame but I want to see the onion skin like if you don't know what's the onion skin an onion skin is, is, the, is the tool that can show you what's behind or what's in front of the current paper you see if I go up and down up and down it shows me here so this is the, the timeline and if I go play with loop oh my god what's going on let's stop it you got idea right right now how do we turn on the onion skin let's go to preferences and onion skin now you probably see different colors black or white I don't remember you can change it and you will see this will be turned off so turn it on and you have paper thickness it's like whatever it is it's the how the paper will will shown how the last paper and the front paper will be shown so like a transparency the thickest it is I think I, I, I don't want to confuse you because I didn't mess with the onion skin yet I just changed the, the um, colors so you can change it to I, I found 90 like best for me you can always change it here preferences onion skin mess with it let's do it now why I can't see the onion skin if it's already on there because I need to activate it here right click and you can see this now again I use shortcuts so I can click the O for onion skin let me show you O I'm not sure if it's toggled yet toggle on and off you see here is the next frame the last frame sorry and there is no frame in front because this is the first that we cannot see let's make another one let's make another 
kind of whatever it is okay now you can even see the first here and you need to set up yeah now to mess with it in more I mean I hope they'll change it and we can mess with the onion skin properties here because now it's not so comfortable but we can do it and I don't want to confuse you but we can we can do it here you see this I click on the middle frame and this is not what you think it's not like what we see on the X sheet it's for swapping because I can make a library of let's say different mouses mouth I don't know how to say it okay mouth yeah open close um, smiling whatever you want to do you can do lots of them and then you can manipulate them here in the X sheet so it's kind of hard to explain now maybe I'll do it in the future don't count on it so here we want to play with the onion skin what we need to do you see this nice half of a sphere or circle thingy all you need to do is to drag it I think yes and drag it it shows how many frames ahead so let me zoom in if we're in the middle it shows the blue as the last one there is no no more blue because this was the first and the red is the one in front nice I think we understand you understand the onion skin thingy kind of the middle thing so let's continue I'm sorry it's going getting longer but I'm trying my best to be clear so what else now if you click play it's playing one time the loop you already saw loops forever and yes but our animation is too fast and we don't want to change it to 12 FPS because um, I think the standard is 24 for um, cinematic action like you know you can do 25 for PAL and 30 and so on so how can we make this animation slower but still stay on the 24 FPS that's easy all you need to do is to click here right click I think it's here and reframe and working on the tools for example it will double each frame now I want you to look on the frames here when I click the two twos it's like duplicated each one so every line say hey I'm going to make I'm, I'm going to make the first frame go in another frame and then I'm moving to the next one same here so if you play now it's loop it's a bit slower right now the cool thing I didn't see in any other software when it's playing it already it's showing the onion skin usually on any software I used when you play it won't show the onion skin so I click O to deactivate this is how the real animation looks like and you can the on the another thing another thing you, you see that is kind of nice is you can kind of work while it's playing you can still do stuff like actual size I can zoom in zoom out pan no I can't pan okay my bad well you're not supposed to do it anyway well while it's playing but that's nice it's kind of blown my mind I am um, I think that that's enough I think that you know the basics you can already do animation oh I'll, I'll tell I tell you how to do something I mean one more thing because we didn't go into camera and stuff like that and I'm not sure I will because there are so many tutorials out there um, but let's say you want to render this so you go to I think it's here um, palette edit which is with the colors I'll, I'll talk about the colors in the next uh, tutorial because I'm going to show you something really cool and not only about the colors but this is the basic you know the basics so in here in the palette edit which is the coloring kind of panel room um, you click on render um, output settings this is the window kind of the window we saw it at, at the start and you can change the resolution and stuff and blah 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 I won't get into here now um, and when you're ready let's say you're happy with it you can click render and it will render and 
in my other window it shows the render but you can see this so let me um, let me move the what the flipbook they call it flipbook like a real flipbook so this is what it showed me when the render finished and I click play you can see it that's nice and you already and you also have the files on the di directory which is I'm not sure I think it's outputs let me see um, it's supposed to be here I think but I'm not getting into the files thing because this is the only thing that everybody confused is the, the files you need to, to save every little thing and I will finish my video tutorial about the files thing I will not get too deep into this but let me sh let me tell you because let's say you work really hard on this one and then you made another one another um, animated element I call it element you say you, you made another one here okay and onion skin and now you need to go to sleep or you have real life you need to go somewhere and you want to continue later so if you go to files and you click save scene that's not going to save these guys no when you open open tunes and you you click load and you load the, the scene this will be not will, will not be here okay so how do you save them that's a little bit difficult and I mean not difficult it's easy but if you don't remember that might be a problem so you need to save every single one of this this one and this one every single one of these columns look uh, called level a level okay so I want to save this level I click I go here files and I'm going to save level that's it next I am going here and I click save level yes I know it's really really stupid you think it's stupid because this is not how digital works we need a button a button that save everything in one and I hope that they will do it they improve it because again it's based on the traditional animation not the traditional which is paperless so this is why it may look stupid but you can do it it's you know it's not that critical same goes for the palettes if you want to save the colors each level have its own palette and colors you need to save them how do you save them you go to here and you can save here I think you can also save here I didn't check mm. yes you can also save it here now last thing I know I know it's getting longer I know but I, I just don't want to miss the basic stuff in every single room you have different options you have the basics and you have stuff that you will see for example here you have the render button buttons okay because you have many and here you won't have the render because you can't render from here I think and but you have this stuff and here you have also render and other stuff okay because in each room now this one don't even try don't mess with it it's for server render it's for batch means like render in and network and stuff like that you don't need it okay this is very important window but I'm not going to try even to explain what's going on there um, maybe I will maybe I'm not sure not yet okay I think I believe we have the, the, the basics right now what I suggest to you to do is to just mess with all the tools and each one works here this is vector vector layer because the preferences in general no no it is drawing every stage start with the default of vector I, I think I'll show I showed in the last video I didn't talk about it but I showed the vectors and the raster and if you want I can talk and explain what what each one and what are the good stuff and bad stuff on each kind of thing I don't want this video to be like one hour it's already very long unless you don't care I can make a one hour video and talk about everything but I don't think you want to suffer my bad English for too long it's like you'll make me evil okay 
So here, if you change the tunes raster level as default, every time you start to draw on a new level, it became as raster. But the default is vector. It's very powerful. I personally like the the, um, the raster than the uh, vectors because of the look of it and the controls. But the vectors have more tools and more amazing stuff you can do that you cannot do with the raster, which are pixels. So the cool thing here is that you can combine your project with both, and I like it a lot. Okay, if you have questions and stuff, I will try to answer on the comments. So leave a comment and you can ask anything. I'm not really, I don't know stuff about it. I just, this is just the basics, but I'm going to show you something on the next tutorial that's gonna blow your mind. And really, it's gonna be amazing because these are stuff you usually need a few software to do or a really high-end software that costs lots of money and don't forget that open tunes is free so it blows my mind because what a free software can do in its very very early version 1.0 it's amazing just imagine what the, it will do with more effects and stuff so if you want to look at my first video I'm talking about it in general and if you want to look on my next video I hope it's already up because I'm going to record it now um that's it sorry for wasting your time now nah, I'm kidding I didn't waste your time you learn stuff you know it now much love everybody see you later alligator bye